Look at me, 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 look at me now. Fuck, are you kidding me? You're my d Coming up next is the UFC Heavyweight Division Collision. There is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kick. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he eyes very well as he follows with a jab right hand, left hook, high kick coming over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it, he will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. DC, this is a true mixed martial artist of the highest order. You've watched the film. Hard for me to see much in terms of glaring weaknesses, and he believes he can react to anything that is thrown his way inside that arc. It's unbelievable because whenever you're trying to prepare for someone, you look for weaknesses. But when you watch this guy, you, nothing jumps off the page. When you think I have to go wrestle him, you realize very quickly that not only can he defend takedowns, he can also go and secure them sure. himself. He's that new breed of fighter that has been doing every discipline from the very start of his career. You know you're looking at a guy that will contend for a championship. And if our fighter meeting on Thursday is any indication, confidence not an issue for this young man coming in here tonight. Our tail of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Four years apart with big differences in height and reach. And now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 206 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Bazooka. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, four losses. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Busan, South Korea. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. They touch him up, and we are underway. Round one here, big reach advantage, DC. We'll see if he can employ that patented check. Yes, he has to maintain distance. He's the taller guy. So every time his opponent tries to enter, he's gonna have to take something on the way inside. Big power to punch land. Now he gets back to range. He changes the angle, finds the right spot to land that punch to the head from the clinch. And they separate. Ooh-wee, what a right hand by this young man. He's throwing bombs, 
Every time they come into contact, he is really bombed. Right hand upstairs. Just over three minutes to go, round one. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Under three minutes now to go in the round. Lands a knee and Daniel Cormier to my right. I can hear him saying, I wish I was a little bit taller. Lands with the kick there. No pad on that foot. No shit guard. He's taking all of that kick every time he throws. Well, he misses with the left punch there. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Well, he continues to work the body to great effect. Another kick landed there by the Korean Super Bowl. Right hand landed. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. I have an awful idea. Maybe the opponent should try to check one of these. He's got to try to check him, but he can't, Johnson, because there's no windup. There's no tell. And when he feels his opponent is getting a beat on his leg kicks, he'll just pop a jab off. Get the hands up to block the face, blast the leg kick on the bottom. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that is so diverse yeah. and has such a great understanding of landing these leg kicks. Slips the punch nicely there. Oh, big punch land. seconds now to go in the round. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Short. He is throwing a fast, straight, hard jab. That's not a feeler jab. That's one that's really not in the head. Man. Nice job to get the foot off the canvas and to the target quickly. Beautiful inside leg kick by the Korean Super Bowl. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are gonna be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're gonna see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, second round is underway. Your thoughts on what we saw over the first five minutes? I saw a very competitive round. It was very strategic. Expect these guys to really pick it up as we go forward in this fight. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that man, DC. Right punches there. Punch coming, it's blocked. Inside leg kick is there by Choi. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Oh, caught him flush with the head kick there, DC. Beautiful setup to get his leg up there quickly before his opponent could react. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Now connects with a right. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, that's a good strike there by the Korean Super Bowl. it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, and he counters with a straight left. That landed flush. Gets on the feet. His opponent in a lot of trouble now. That was Kenny Velasquez's front of choice. Every time he lands that over there, right? He hurts people's bad. And this guy has his opponent hurt very badly. Oh! Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Honing in on those counters. Nice strike. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Right idea, poor execution, the counter right, no good. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. And they set him. Big head kick. Oh, that's a big hook to the chin. And he continues to work the body here. Beautiful strike. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. 
How about that shin? Yeah, left hook found its target. Nice kick landed there by Choi. range with that right hand. And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch, and I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. Hard to get out of. It's very difficult to get out of. Look and notice how tight his elbows are as he's maneuvering and moving his opponent into position where he can get off his strikes. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. All right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now. The adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything you train to and it stays this close, you got to really switch it up. They would relay that message to their fighter better in the two rounds. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are gonna count. Real nice body kick land. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that gym. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Back and forth we go! He's standing near the body there. He's the taller fighter. Might as well put that size to good use, and he certainly did so there. He's tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, big head kick. Right in. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Oh, great head movement there. Slips his head off the center line and defensive. Oh. Oh. See, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Look at how fast. Total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Look at him flip his hit. That one appeared to stun him. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Whoa! Back to the feet. Looking to land the right hand. He misses. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. There's no give on that leg kick. Ooh, what a punch. Goes to the body there. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. So there's the end of the round. Few things in MMA more devastating than a head kick and nearly produced a knockout for him there. We talked to him earlier in the week and he talked about chances to take the kicks high. He got a chance, he took it, he landed that kick and almost got the fight finished. Let's see if he can go and do that again. Fourth round now, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. 
Well, just as he did the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. That was a thudding leg. Back kick. and forth we go. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. All right, lands a kick there. Pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Man, the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. Nice punch land. Oh, caught him there with the head kick. Well, it didn't take him long to get a good read on his opponent. Another good series of kicks there. He thought the kicks would be the key tonight, and they sure have been. Big head kick land. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Well, looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Very nice leg kick there by the Korean Super Bowl. Beautiful kick. All right, single collar tie now. Counter punch is good by Chor. Oh, vicious kick to the outside of that lead. Check, check in these guys. Check these kicks, or you're gonna be limping around the octagon very short. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Get you, get you, get you. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's... Oh, he is up, but man, is he hurt. A finish could come here at any time. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. Huge knee land. Jump. Oh, nice job to defend the takedown and scramble to his feet. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Oh, nice jab. So his legendary chin holds up despite getting knocked down in that previous round. DC, take us through the highlight. He's as tough as they come. There has not been a guy that can take shots like this. Most times the night would be over. And gladly, gladly over after you take a shot like this. But this man is just too tough. Some people say he's too tough for his own good. He would not agree with you. He wants to fight.
So there he is after the big TKO victory here tonight. He had some doubters coming in. He certainly muted those naysayers here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee Ian Ravine's called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 16 seconds of round number 5. Declared the winner by TKO, the Korean Super Bowl. The celebration is on over there in the corner, and nothing subdued about it. They put a lot of time into this training camp and into this performance, and certainly their athlete delivered. It was a result that they desired. They said.